Are you tired of taking L's because your teammates refuse to play the objective? Modern Warfare 3's new field upgrade, the ACS, is a solution for your problem. The automated capture spike does two things. Number one, it captures objectives for your team. Number two, it hacks enemy devices and equipment. I have a comprehensive list of what it can and cannot hack to share later in this video. We're going to dive right into the point capturing first because that's what a majority of you clicked on this video for. The game conveniently lists what mode point capturing works for. It works for domination, hardpoint, control, and ground war. The game also says the ACS captures points slowly, but that is not true whatsoever. I find the ACS valuable in domination because flag capture progress depends on how many players are on the objective. Capturing a flag by yourself takes 10 seconds. Capturing a flag with the ACS takes 10 seconds as well. There's nothing slow about the ACS. It essentially is a deployable teammate. The ACS has an 11 second duration before it self destructs. That may sound short, but that's enough time to fully cap a flag on its own, and more than enough time if you're capturing with the ACS. As I said earlier, capture progress depends on how many players are on the objective. I believe in domination, time is half for every player on a flag up to four players. This means that two players on a flag or you and your ACS on a flag will capture that flag in five seconds. This opens up so much carry potential if you have teammates doing their own thing and you're trying to win a match. You can put the team on your back yourself, especially if you have a duo with you or if there's one other player in your lobby trying to play the objectives. You can combo with your ACS to capture flags insanely fast and swing games around to your advantage. Even though the number of players on the objective doesn't matter in hardpoint, the ACS is just as valuable in that mode. I like to throw the ACS on the zone and then jump off the objective to look for easy kills. A lot of the times, enemies will be rushing to the point not expecting you to be flanking them, or you can throw the ACS in a corner where it's hard to find and sit behind the objective to get easy picks while the enemy team is wondering how the hardpoint is being captured when no one is on it. This video is not over, but just a quick reminder, if you're finding this video helpful, please tap that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. It took me some time to put this video together, especially for this next session where I had to test uh, pretty much every single field upgrading killstreak in the game. So if you happen to be winning a game and you don't need to carry your team, you can still get value out of the ACS with its hacking functionalities. If a device is hackable, it will hack said device when placed within its range. If your ACS happens to already be deployed, it will also automatically hack whatever is placed within its range. The hacking range is roughly a 7 meter radius around the ACS, and it can hack through walls, which can be a great help. The game states that the ACS temporarily hacks things, but from what I can tell, the hack seems to last for forever or until the piece of equipment would destroy itself naturally. I went ahead and tested most killstreaks, lethals, tacticals, and field upgrades to see what the ACS can and cannot hack. What it cannot hack are a lot of the personal items and non-electronics. This includes the heartbeat sensor, tactical insertion, inflatable decoy, deployable cover, recon drone, loadout drop, anti-armor rounds, and dead silence. It cannot hack most throwable lethals and tacticals. The ones that it can hack will be noted in the hackable section. It also is unable to hack kill streaks. I tested the things that seemed like you could hack them, like the Cluster Mine, the Sentry Gun, Wilson, Sam Turret, Guardian SC, and the Juggernaut. The ACS couldn't hack either of those. I've read some claims that the Sentry Gun could be hacked, and it seems like it'd be something to be able to temporarily hack, but it couldn't do it when I tested it in a private match. I wondered if this was a private match glitch, but I have tried tried hacking a Guardian with the ACS in a public match, I remember the map specifically was High Rise, and the ACS did not hack that Guardian. So I don't believe it can hack any kill streaks, which makes sense since the hack is forever instead of being it temporary. The last two items the ACS can't hack are the Muni and the Med Box. But actually, I think they can hack these because I've tried this in a actual pubs game and it did work. But you can see it did nothing in private matches. So just a disclaimer, this list may not be 100% accurate. I'm pretty confident in this except for the deployable kill streaks and the supply boxes. Those I question, but uh, feel free to share your own experiences in the comments and we can get a running list of what is confirmed hackable and not hackable. 
What I can confirm the ACS can hack are claymores, proximity mines, C4s. These C4s will actually get destroyed on toss and the explosion deals no damage. It can also hack the tactical camera, the suppression mine, the portable radar, and the trophy system, but only if the ACS is placed on the ground before the trophy system. If the trophy system is already on the ground, it will destroy the ACS. On the topic of destruction, if you throw two ACSs within the hacking range, they will mutually destroy each other, and you can use the DDoS field upgrade to temporarily disable the ACS if you ever need to counter one. They're pretty easy to destroy normally, but it's good knowledge to have in the back of your head. You'll never know when you'll need it, you'll never know when you're going to run into a full six-man team running ACSs and trophy systems and you just can't break their defenses. Hopefully this video helped and inspired you to think of all the different ways you can use the ACS. My question to you is, will you be using the ACS now or do you not see the value in it? Please don't forget to tap that like button, get subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. You should also know the capture range is the same between the ACS and a player. Both need to be within three and a half meters to capture a flag and both need to be touching the objective for hardpoint and control. Unfortunately, you can't cap a hardpoint through a wall.